Well then everybody, <clears throat> here we are again. Um, welcome back to another short video. Uh, it's been a while since I, since I actually posted the last video, like a quick line drawing of, of this. Um, so apologies for the delay in getting to the painting stage. I'm happy to say it's been quite busy um, and, and very active with actual live demos and workshops. So um yeah that that's good but it, it it means that i haven't yet had time to um to actually f film the the coloring bit of this this drawing um i've just popped this here because the palette i'm going to be using is this little thing beautiful enamel palette i got from as a present from mrs h uh, from the heat and cooper shop in grasmere a couple of years ago and these are the colours in the, um, I mean, they look nothing like it because they're, uh, I very rarely clean these palettes, but, you know, they work. These are all Daniel Smith colours. Um, so I'm going to be using those. I'll pop it back on at the end so you can have a look. These are all the colours. Uh, Quinacridone. I wish I could remember what that one was. It's, uh, I think it might be French Ultramarine. Quinacridone Gold, Green Appetite, Undersea Green, Green Gold, Hansa Medium Yellow, Quinacridone Red. And then I got bored with doing the swatch and just tried to make it mix some colours and see what it made with a bit of cobalt in the Quinacridone. Payne's Grey, which is a bluish shade. Um, Alvaro Fresco Grey, Cobalt Blue, Indigo and Payne's Grey, not the blue shade. So those are the colours I'm going to be using on this. As I say, I'll pop that palette, that swatch back on screen at the end. So here's the drawing. Um, and let's get stuck straight in. I'm going to try and adopt a, a quick, loose, from memory, I think the, um, I think the drawing portion of this, I think it looked, 10 minutes and I think and yeah I think it's over 10 12 minutes I think it was a continuous line if I remember um, so what I'll do my, my technique in drawing that's cobalt blue in painting sorry that's uh, cobalt blue I always do the sky first because um, what I don't want to do is uh, is paint adjacent to the sky wash and have stuff run in. Um, I always say I'm going to have a crack at these. There's some fantastic artists on Instagram who do really loose uh, fast impressionistic paint. Um, and even though I love the effect I still can't bring myself to to do this um so what i'm gonna do let's do my favorite trick which i love i love to have colors mix on the page so that was um Payne's gray and i've dropped some quinacridone gold in uh, i think what i'll do now is get some more in fact i've just realized looking at the actual palette i need i do need to refill a couple of these um let's put some background in there and a background up there that's paint gray again let's let's get some let's get some quinacridone gold in because i like the way it it mixes um a bit more water paint gray and bring some of this rock down. Really hope I can get all this colour done in in about the same length of time, ten or twelve minutes. Certainly no more. Um, and I'm not actually, I'm not referring to this much in terms of in terms of the uh, the actual colours. 
So let's get some, some Tains Grey, Cobalt Blue, because I want the I want the roofs of these two cottages to look. Similar, there you go. We'll leave those to dry. And then what I need to do, all this area here, this is going to be greenery. Um, so let's start with a nice wet wash of, um, this is green gold. On there. And then let's get some of the my favorite green which is undersea green and let's you see not enough so let's drop this in again I'm really not not copying the colors in this at all I've got some wet paint there sorry about that paint on my hands let's get some oh you see and this is what i love this is why i love watercolor accidentally mixing the green in the palette and picked up time not sure if you can see that picked up tiny bits of crinacridone gold which which have just gone in there so do you know what We've heard the phrase happy accidents um, many, many times. Let's just dab that off, it'll, but it'll stay there, I think. So what I need to do now, I want a really, really pale mix. And this is, this is cobalt blue. I want to get the, I want to even pale it. There you go, I'm, I'm just, Brushing that on with a semi-dry brush, just to make some differential between this and the sky, which is the same cobalt blue. Tiny sliver in there, and then there's some in there. And I'm looking at this now, and I hate to say it, but I actually think that might be might well be finished because I don't want to I don't want to go the whole hog and do a fully colored in piece because uh, I think it if I if I put some wet in wet mixes in there and drop colors in it'll be fighting with this so yeah that's what I'm going to do the only thing I will do though is to mix there you go I'm going to mix a nice purpley colour and get some shadow. This is the Payne's Grey blue shade with some of the quinacridone red to get a wonderful purple mix. And although there isn't a, a strong shadow on the reference picture, I'm, I'm kind of thinking it's coming from there. So let's have this purple down there. Oddly, there's some something happening there. I'm not sure if it's feels like there may be a bit of grease on the paper, which is odd. So we'd have that there, and this entire gable end. And as soon as you put the shadow colour behind that wall, there it, it kind of makes sense of the of the lines, um, and they'll come across there. And oddly enough, and let's just give a bit more depth. Let's have a bit of shadow under that eave and under that one. Um, and the only thing I'm about to do, you see I'm coming up to the 10 minute mark now, which is kind of, is my target. Um, so everything's coloured apart from the, the stonework, shadow colour on there. This this bit of headland there needs some needs some colour on, I think. Just a bit more dark green, just dabs. 
I could be a bit more picky and use a, there you go, Cranacodon gold, use a, a much finer brush. So, what I'm going to do is say that's finished. Don't want to do any more. I haven't overpowered the line work because the, the, the washes are really, really kind of transparent and the only bit of perhaps unwanted uh, colour bleed is it up here, look, in on the headland there. I can always put some lines around that and pretend that, that they're trees or, you know what, just leave it because it, it's what it is. It's never going to go um, on somebody's wall. Let's have a bit more. You see, despite my best intentions, I'm still fiddling. So I'm going to put down my brush and what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove that and I'll leave the palette in so you can see the colours. It'll save me typing the colours out in the in the um, in the video description and um, yeah, I think that's, I'm, I'm quite pleased. And the bit I'm pleased with most is what's happened here, where the quinacridone gold has bled into or in some places stopped. Payne's grey there. And some of this accidental mixing, I think is fabulous. Um, yeah, I'm not going to see temptation now to pick up a pen and put some more lines in, but you know what john stop that so there you go thanks for watching that i hope you've uh, hope you've enjoyed it and it and definitely it won't be won't be a month before i post the next one because i've already got a good idea for the for the next video so there you go thanks again everybody and thanks for all the support and comments it, it really does mean such a lot to me um hope you enjoy this oh Nearly forgot, and thanks again to Charlie Flinders for the reference photograph, which he used in one of his online demos. So, cheers, Charlie. Cracking image. More than happy to have a go. Thanks again, everyone. Take care. Bye for now.